guys, I'm Amira. Welcome to my sewing room. Today, I plan to actually video myself a bit as I progress on my double wedding ring quilt. I know that some of you have actually asked what template did I use, what kind of um, pattern did I use. So today, I think I'm kind of trying to cover it all up and hopefully you learn something. If you're trying to start your own double wedding ring quilt, I think it's just getting it started is actually really hard so um once you know all the steps i think it's just a matter of repeating it and yeah i'm almost finished with my double wedding ring quilt but i thought i just at the end of that quilt before it's got finished i thought i just do a simple short video for you so let's start with the template so the one that i'm using is matilda's own template so it's something like this and I think it was like fifty dollars, mm -hmm. and I bought it at Quilt Show um, back in two thousand eleven or two thousand twelve. I never really touched it, so until this year, I decided to actually start to it. So it's just a simple template that has a shape of the center. So this is the center, and you also have this shape of this center of the melon, where it goes somewhere like that there, and then you also have two different kinds of curve where you can patch them in patchwork so you have C, D, E and F so that basically you need to cut two of them so two of these, two of these and two of these so that will be patched together like that and like that and then the other side will be the other side so the E is only one of them actually so you only need five if I'm not mistaken no you need six so you actually need six of them so this is going to be patched like that way and then the other side will be reflected that way and in my um quilt i did use a patchwork version of it and i used a scrappy looking kind of thing so i simply could just cut a lot of these piece a lot of these piece and a lot of these piece and just start putting, piecing them together and if you don't want to do the patchwork version you also have this f template which kind of cuts the whole curve and that's really just perfect to just match up with that center the melon and that would make just a perfect melon for that but you still need to cut this E piece just for the end or the center of that and that would be pieced together this template is quite good so you can see there is holes there which you can mark and that will give you a precise quarter inch I didn't really use that I'm not really detailed that on that I just eyeball my quarter inch and I'm just using a quarter inch foot on my machine as well so I'm just gonna be quickly showing you what I've done so I have this curve pieced so this is basically one of my curve piece so basically I have one of these um, two of these C piece D piece and E piece and basically you can just piece them with a quarter inch seam allowance and I press them going out like um, four of them is going out two of them is going this way or you can do three um, since there is only five seams so three would go that way and two the other way there's no particular reason why I just like to press the seam to the side and after that what you need to do is put the center piece like the top piece there I would like to just put it like that and I'm just gonna put that like so and I'm just gonna sew that together on both ends so what you're going to end up with is something that looks like I'm just going to show you something if I have one huh. well I don't have any actually maybe I should piece one so I'll piece one for you So you'll have something that looks like that for the piece and I just finger press them like that. This one I press with uh, these seams, I press with uh, an iron but these seams I just press them with a finger press. So you'll have something that looks like that. On the other side you'll have something that doesn't have the edge and you're going to piece that together. But how you're going to make the melon is by first doing this piece so I've actually done a chain piece of this melon center piece so I'm just going to show you one of it so what I've done is basically piece one melon the center melon 
in my case the white melon here the small one using the template that is provided here so that melon will match perfectly with your piece patchwork piece and you're going to make that first and then after that we're going to piece this on top like that so that's sort of going to fit just nicely with all that so what i do normally is i fold this in half give it a little press at the end just to give that um slight mark and you can see that center i match it with this center here and i take a pin and just pin the center so that it is on the center um yeah so i don't use much of a pin but i use it at the center and what you want to do is you want to sew it this way so that this um, concave curve is at the front and you can also pin another one so that your seams would be matched so you have like that matched seams but i normally would just see it with my eyes sort of like that so i am just gonna piece that together that pieced together and you just want to press that I would like to press that with an iron and what you would have is something that look like this so I would press I would press I would press my seams towards the center so because that's the way it likes to be in so the first one would just go through the center and the other one would go over it so you'll have something that looks like that and that's your first melon so make four for each circles and on my blog there is a way how to put the rows together on how rows looking looks like for my red, double wedding ring quilt and you can learn how to make rows from there but i just want to show you how to make um one of the rows with the center so what you want to do is just have the center piece again fold it in center and mark it with your finger you have that center and you want to take that melon and put it in the center of that as well so just like that okay. yeah. just like that and just pin that together and again you want to start sewing with the concave parts on top and for this reason you want to start the end to match with that end there not on top here but here you kind of get a feeling that it fits there if you try to start over there it doesn't kind of fit there's lots of holes so that's where you start first so I'm just gonna piece that together Once you've got that it will look something like that and now you are ready to do the next one so um i would normally go clockwise so if, if you see in my vlog the step by step you will know that i do not do the whole circle so some of them have this side of the circle and some of them have this side of the circle so depending on which one you want to start if you want to do that way you probably want to start down here first and then go this way and this way and then top part and miss this one out or probably you can just turn this around later on so it's just the same so basically what I want to do now is piece this side together, which is going to be the white color. So because I'm alternating white and the red one for the checkers effect look. And you can see much better in my Instagram photos of the finished quilt top or the blog. Not finished yet, but almost. Yep. So now what I'm going to do again, the same thing is fold this into half, match the corners with the corners and give it a press. Take your white piece, cut a melon, and just put the center in, pin it at the center, and bring this one. So now we are going to start piecing this piece together with this one. 
So you want to match that square with that square at the edge and that should bring the points on points. So I'm just going to sew that piece and just show you quickly. <clears throat> I just came back from work guys so I'm a bit sloppy but I just don't have other times to do it. In the morning I am busy with getting things prepared and sometimes I paint in the morning, I meditate in the morning which I love to do now. So I do less sewing these days but I think I'm kind of enjoying it. So yeah. So that's done. Alright, so now we have like two pieces together, so that's how it looks like. So now if you want to look at the back, what I did is just that it will kind of fall where it wants to be. So that's how I press my seams as well. So you look at that, it's going to press towards the white, but I don't really mind. It's going to go towards the white, so that's going to go towards the white as well. And it's just going to press nicely if you do it in um, clockwise, so that you'll have that seams going all one way. All right, I hope you learned something. And if you're trying to start with double wedding ring, well, I do hope you do. I wish you good luck with it as well, because I had fun making with them and I'm I'm not sure whether I'll make anyone anymore, but it may be, may be some days because I love the look of it. And it's just a classic quilt that you have to have in your quilt things like, you know, that you want to do. So good luck with that and see you later. Bye-bye.